Hey everyone, it's Carrie from Carrie's Breathe Creations. I am here today to show you how to make a two-toned cone style petal. I don't have a better name for this, but if you've watched my other uh, petal tutorials, I'll leave a link in the description box below that shows you how to make a cone petal with just the one color that actually looks like this. This is our traditional cone petal. I'm gonna show you how to do one that has two different colors incorporated into it. So it makes a really beautiful wreath. You can, um, you know, you can add different colors and just adds a little bit of texture to it. So uh, what you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need your two colors. Um, and I'm, I have a 10 by 10 piece of poly burlap here. We're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna use blue and white. And as you can see, these are cut into triangles. So I'll explain that in a second. Um, with your poly burlap, you're gonna start, wanna start with it in a 10 by 10 inch square. So I did use a wood burning tool and here are my cut edges and then here are my factory edges. You're also going to want a clip of some sort. Um, a longer clip is better. So I might actually just use a traditional clothespin. I do have these crafting clips, but they're a tad short for this project. Um, and then, of course, you're going to want either the board or frame that you're putting your petals in if you're working on a wreath. Um, this is great. You know, obviously, these are flower style wreaths that we're talking about with the different petals. If you want to pre-bake all your petals, you're going to want something to uh, hold your petals together after they're folded. So I'm going to use this um, little rubber band here. Um, but so how this gets started, and I, we're going to do a blue and white petal. OK, but how it gets started is with your 10 by 10 poly burlap. So I don't have a piece of white here, but I had a piece of blue like this and a piece of white. And all you do is you take a straight edge and a rotary cutter and just cut this diagonally. Okay, I'm not gonna do that because I already have it cut, but I would just take my rotary cutter and cut diagonally the two pieces that I want, okay? So you end up with your triangles. You could wood burn this part if you wanted. It does fray once you cut it with the rotary cutter, but that part goes into the um, zip tie, so you don't see the fray. So I choose not to. Um, I choose not to do the um, wood burning on that part. So then, when you you know we're just working with the blue and white here. Okay, we have our two triangles, and as you can see, here's where the fray is happening, but that's okay because it's going to go into the. Um, into the uh, zip tie okay so i these are curling up slightly because it you know, of course it does come on a roll okay so i do have it curl side up and i have my triangle okay now you're going to want to work with like a cutting mat or something underneath you so you can see dimensions and measurements here so i'm going to just on um, for for you know wherever it lands is fine but for my purposes this is at 12 the 12 inch mark on my mat Reason that's important is when I take this piece, I want it to be an inch lower. So it's gonna be, line, the points are lined up, but I want this to be at the 11 inch mark. I'm just offsetting by an inch, okay? Just like that. Now, you're, we're gonna have to fold this. Here's where I would use your clip to put clip those in place so they're not going anywhere. So your inch is you know, gonna stay while we while we fold, okay? So now you have a choice here. We do have to, now we're gonna do a traditional cone style fold. So if you watch that video, it's the same idea, but we do have two pieces to work with here. If you wanna fold everything all at once, it's fine. If you wanna fold separately, that's fine. So I'm gonna actually sold, fold separately. So with the cone petal, you wanna find the center. So you can just sort of run your finger, your and your eyes down to the center of the bottom okay and you do know there's the blue is shorter than the white here because we're offset okay so i'm going to start with the white here's the center i'm going to bring this end to the center just like that and then bring this end to the center okay i'm overlapping just the littlest amount so that i have something i can hold right here okay and now you do the same with the blue so that's why you could do these together you don't have to you can do them separately whatever works best for you, okay? So just like that, all right? So I am holding kind of in two spots here because I gotta hold where the blue is connected and where the white is connected, okay? Then I take this end here and I can grab these both together and fold in towards the center. So just take this and you fold it once towards the center, okay? Same thing over here. And you just meet them, you don't overlap, 
Okay, but you just take that end and you just fold in towards the center till it touches the other one, okay? And then what you're gonna do, I'm right-handed, so I just turn it this way so that my right hand can do the scrunching. And you wanna make sure you scrunch so you have blue. Don't scrunch all the way at the bottom because then you won't have grabbed any of your blue, your out, your the outer part of your petal. You wanna scrunch probably about a fingertip or like about maybe maybe an inch up from the blue. So that would be right here. Here's where the blue ends. This is an inch up. You could do, I mean, a half inch. You do have a little bit of fray here, so you just wanna make sure when you're scrunching, you're capturing all these little pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and be safe and just do um, an inch up from where the blue ends. We have a bit of extra white and we'll address that in a second. So I just scrunch that just like that, okay? So I have my petal, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my rubber band on here, okay? So right where I'm scrunching is where the rubber band is going on, okay? Just like this. Oop, and I broke my rubber band. That's okay. Let me grab another one. They come in packs of, I don't know, is this 500 or something? So you break one, no big deal. And I will say that I don't take these bands off when I put the petals into the board. They will just go right under where the zip tie is. So that's fine. All right, twice is good enough. We're just holding this in place. So I can get on my clip, okay? So again, just like the regular cone petal, you have like this cool little curl. It looks a little, it looks a little bit more like fancier than some of the other petals that we do. Um, but it's actually pretty simple to put together and it's really cool with this little other color sort of peeking out Okay, now when you put this into your border frame, it's likely that this is going to be too much It's going to interfere with the next row So for example, if I put this into the board like this, it's it's hitting the next set of holes and I wouldn't want it to So I'm about to make a mess here, but what I'll do is just cut this extra white so right where it meets, right where the blue ends, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's that's plenty to cut off right there, okay? So that would all just go in the garbage and then there's your petal, okay? Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you wanna make your own two-tone cone style petal, I would love to see finished products if you wanna message me through any of my social media. You can find that in the description box below. I'm on Facebook. Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. TikTok, you can find uh, me at Carrie's Wreath Creations. Uh, I would love to see you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see other pe petal technique tutorials as well as full length wreath tutorial videos. And um, you can also find affiliate links for Unique in the Creek that make the boards and do all kinds of wreath supplies uh, that you can purchase. I have an affiliate link for them as well as an Amazon affiliate shop where you can find a lot of the supplies that I use. Um, and I do have an Etsy shop for finished wreaths and wreath kits. Thanks for watching me today, everyone. Take care. Bye.